The fact is, I don't bake very often, but when I do, it has to be a really good cake. And today I'm gonna make a really special cake for those of you who are durian lovers. It's a durian mousse cake or bánh mousse sầu riêng. Durian is considered the king of fruits here in South Asia, but it's still forbidden in many places because of its pungent smell that not everyone favors. If a fresh durian is not available, you can also use the flesh of durian frozen at Asian stores. And if you don't like durian at all, you can still replace with strawberry or mango. And so it will be mango mousse cake or strawberry mousse cake. Let's begin. Helen's recipes. For the sponge cake, you're gonna need four eggs. Separate the yolk from the whites into two separate small bowls. You can separate the eggs when they are still cold, but make sure that the yolks and the whites are back to room temperature before beating. Make sure the bowl and the whisk are perfectly clean from oil and there's no yolk dropped into the egg white bowl. In a small bowl, mix together two tablespoons vegetable oil a tablespoon of water or of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add 1 8 teaspoon of salt into the egg whites and beat until you see big bubbles. Then add half a teaspoon of cream of tartar or lime juice and beat at medium until foamy. Then gradually add 100 gram of sugar and continue beating on high speed until you reach soft peak. That's when you lift up the bitters and see the chop curve down. Then continue beating on low speed and add one yolk at a time. Then add the vanilla and oil mix, then continue beating on low speed. Add 100 gram of flour into a sift and sift one third of the flour. Continue beating on low until well combined and then repeat until finish. Don't over mix the butter otherwise the cake gonna be tough. Use a spatula to scrape down the side and fold it in gently. Drop the bowl on the counter two times to remove the big bubbles. Line the base of the pan with some parchment paper to prevent sticking. Pour the butter into the baking pan and gently drop one more time to break the bubbles. Bake the cake in a preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes until you insert the toothpick into the center and it comes out clean. Let the cake cool down on a rack. For the durian mousse, you're gonna need 400 gram of the flesh of the durian. It's a very smelly fruit, a disaster for some, but a heaven for others. You want to blend the durian flesh with 200 ml milk. Add a tablespoon or two of sugar to adjust to your taste. In a small bowl, mix 15 gram of gelatin powder with 3 tablespoons of water and stir well, leave about 15 minutes to bloom. Then place the gelatin bowl in a larger bowl of hot water and stir well until the gelatin dissolves and the liquid becomes clear. Combine the gelatin liquid with the durian and mix well. Next, we're gonna whip 250 ml of whipping cream. Before whipping, you can put the cream, the bitters, and the beating bowl into the freezer for about 15 minutes. It's a lot easier to whip cream when it's cold. Start whipping the cream on low speed and then increase to high. Beat until the cream becomes thick and reaches steep peak. Gently fold the whipped cream with the durian mixture. Now the cake has cooled down completely. We're gonna remove it from the baking pan. 
cut the cake horizontally in half, return the bottom half to the baking pan, and pour half of the durian mousse into it. Smoothen the surface. Then place the other half of the cake on top and pour the rest of the mousse. Use a spatula to smoothen the surface and then cover with plastic wrap and put in the fridge for at least 4 hours or better overnight. Oh, look at that! Isn't it gorgeous? You can decorate the cake to your liking. For me, I just put simply some caramelized dried coconut on top. You can use coconut flakes as well. Now, cut our slice and enjoy! If you're a durian fan and you don't love this cake, I'm gonna quit my job. If you like my durian mousse cake recipe, don't forget to give this video a good thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more delicious Vietnamese cakes and Asian desserts. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.